When you add together a whole string of numbers, the order of how you add them is not important. Use any order you want. The same is true for multiplication. But as soon as you mix things up with different operations in the same expression, you gotta pay close attention to the correct order. You can't just pick and choose what to do first, next, and last according to what you feel like doing. For example, look at the different ways this problem could be done if there were no rules. One way to do the problem is to just go from left to right, giving you a final answer of 13. Another approach is to group the 3 times 4 together, giving you an answer of 1. Remember, grouped terms tell you that you have to do the operation inside the grouping symbol first. Using other groupings, you can get answers of 25, 60, or even 0. I won't go into how these answers are obtained, because they're all wrong anyway. Mathematicians designed rules so that anyone reading a mathematical expression could do it in the same way and get the same answer. In the case of multiple signs and operations, working out the problems needs to be done in a specified order, from the first to the last. This is the order of operations. You must work out the operations and signs in the following order. First, powers or roots. Second, multiplication or division. And third, addition or subtraction. When you have two operations on the same level, you can do those in any order. So, if there's both a power and a root, either can be done first. If you have more than two operations, do them in order from left to right, following the order of operations. If the problem contains grouped items, do what's inside a grouping symbol first, then follow the order of operations. The grouping symbols are parentheses, most commonly used symbols for grouping, Brackets and braces are also used frequently for grouping and have the same effect as parentheses. Using different types of symbols helps when there's more than one grouping in a problem. It's easier to tell where a group starts and ends. A radical is used for finding roots, and a fraction line also acts as a grouping symbol. Everything above the line in the numerator is grouped together, and everything below the line in the denominator is also grouped together. Even though the order of operations and grouping symbol rules are fairly straightforward, it's hard to describe all the situations that can come up in problems. The more you work with equations, the more variations you'll see. This problem doesn't have parentheses or brackets to indicate which operation needs to be done first, but the order of operations rule says that multiplication and division need to be worked out before addition and subtraction. Here's how to find the solution. First. Multiply 3 times 4 and divide the 6 by 2 to get 12 and 3. Second, add and subtract in order from left to right. Although any operations in parentheses or brackets take precedence, exponents and roots should be solved first according to the order of operations. Now let's work out a problem with exponents. First, subtract the 1 from the 5 to get 4. Second, Raise the 3 to the second power to get 9. Third, multiply the 9 and 4 to get 36. And finally, calculate the answer. In this case, it's 38. Now here's one involving square roots. Remember to first work any operation in parentheses or brackets. First, add the 3 and the 4. Second, find the square root of 25. Third, multiply the 7 and 5. And finally, solve the problem. Applying the order of operations assures you'll get the right answer every time.